Hello there. What? What's up my NSAPs? Welcome to my channel. So, as you can see, I am sporting a completely new look. Shout out to my mother who is an amazing hairstylist. She hooked me up with this amazing freaking hairstyle design, whatever you want to call it, masterpiece. And I think it's freaking phenomenal. It's super gay. And just so cute and like freaking awesome. I look like a badass gay warrior. Like Yes! Also, for today's reaction, since it is a special occasion, I have decided to wear this really awesome blazer that I got at Ross a couple months ago, and it's freaking adorable. Look at this. Look, look at this thing. Oh, it's so fly. It's so cool. I love it. So, today is a special occasion because it is the first episode of Amphibia Season 3, and I'm so freaking excited for it. The episode is called The New Normal, and after where Season 2 left us, I am just dying to see what the hell is gonna happen now in the human world. This is gonna be amazing. Also, I have this uh, cool mug. I think I've had it before. Uh, I've made this. <sighs> well, I didn't make it. I painted it, but it's my beautiful unicorn design. Anyway, so a few of you had mentioned about the uh, Marcy and Sasha theme song takeover, so I did see those, and I take my assumption back about why she had the crutch and stuff. I think it is a flashback to when she broke her leg. So that theory's out the window, but still, I have no idea what this season's gonna bring, but I'm excited for it. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts for my art and other cool stuff. And now, without further ado, guys, let's get into it. I'm not ready. <laughs> oh my god, we're in Los Angeles. What the? Welcome to our world. What is that thing? Her legs. I don't believe it. Oh. Her legs, I can't get over it. Whoa. Welcome to LA. Am I dreaming? Nope. There's only one way to be sure. <laughs> the deciding factor. That is hilarious. Oh my god. I'm home. 5G! So much has happened. Oh my we god, her parents. What are her parents gonna say? <gasps> She's alive, Hop Pop. She's just gotta be. And with her and Sasha still stuck over there, one thing's for sure. We gotta find a way back. Yeah! Oh, right! Yeah, what? The determination! Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god. Is this my house? Yeah. This is really happening. I'm gonna see my parents. I want to ease them into all of this slowly. I'm gonna oh my gosh, she has Frobo's head. By the way, his head seemed a lot bigger than that. Did they just like shrink it down so, so Anne could carry it? I thought that's hilarious. I'll signal. Ka -ka! Do not come out till you hear that. <laughs> oh god, that's not gonna go well, is it? No. And I'm not gonna tell them I plan to go back and stop Andreas. Or that Andreas betrayed us. Or that Mercy did. Or that Sasha did. And not a word about my weird glowing blue powers. Wow. Blue powers? It was a thing. You found <laughs> on us. Oh, that's right. He missed it. He wasn't even there for that. Oh my god. Sprig, you had to be there, my man. I know you were falling to your death, but still. You missed a good time. Don't worry, loves. We'll fix you up in no time. <laughs> is that a Furby? Oh my god. Why is it so creepy? world is full of advanced technology. <laughs> yeah, that's a throwback. I still have my Furby, actually, now that I think about it. It's a pink and blue one. Oh. Hi, Mom. <laughs> what was that noise? Everything okay? Oh. And you're back! You're safe! It's a really, really long story. Oh. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Anne's parents, oh the name Sprig Planner, Anne's best friend, and walking, talking frog. First impression, man. Fantastic. Nailed it. Scream. <laughs> he passed out. Well, I just realized her address is 301. Look, is that because this is uh, episode one, season three? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not, but that, that'd be funny. As soon as we charge the last stone, the music box opened a portal oh my God. back to Earth before anything else could happen. Right. The so yeah, you're pretty much caught up. Questions? 
Hold on. Back up. You're telling us it was a whole You made me- love with maggots? Was it good? This is... <laughs> Was it good? Mama, no. No. Can the planters stay with us until we find them a way home? <laughs> Wait, you serious? <laughs> oh, Mom! I wouldn't believe a word of it if the small frog wasn't kicking me right now. <laughs> New legs. You know how it is. <laughs> New legs. You know how it is. Fucking Molly. Oh, my God. I love how, like, fairly okay they are with this so far. I thought there'd be more screaming. Not gonna lie. The authorities will take care of your friends. <gasps> with the police? The government? As soon as they see talking frogs, they'll be probed and they yeah. see Yeah. Oh, hell no. You're all on lockdown. You heard the man. You're all on lockdown. You too. Got it? What? Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's have some Earth style quarantine fun. All right. <laughs> Earth style quarantine fun. Yeah, Boo Boo, unfortunately, quarantine hasn't been that fun here. <laughs> Let me tell you. Anyway, let's check out her room. Look how cute this is. Oh, I love it. I love the tie flags. That's dope. The stars on her ceiling. Is that like a K pop band right there? I love it. I'm going to assume that's what that is. It might, it might not be. I don't know. This is adorable. Oh my gosh, she's got a little donut plushie. That's so cute. <laughs> Thank God, girl. Get a new outfit, please. Uh-oh. Oh my God, Sprig, no. Please don't put metal in that microwave. No! Yay! New clothes and new socks! Thank God! We, that poor girl needed some new clothes. This is fantastic. And she looks cute in pink. It's nice, it's nice. Listen to she eat on this Hey, the color is green, blue, and pink. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not! No! Oh my god, thank you. Nice try. Oh, look at the carvings on her bed! The BFFs, Marcy and Sanjo. Oh. Is her, why is her hair being pulled? I just realized what is going on. Oh. Looking for this? Oh, oh my god. Major fabric. It's also nice to see your hair clean <laughs> with no twigs or leaves or anything. But I need a little bit of space where I'm gonna lose my mind. You guys are being way too overprotective. We all have plenty of space to breathe. Oh, sorry! Just practicing my jump kick. Yeah! <laughs> Listening. She's so cute. Let me and the planters out just for an hour. I'll take yeah. care of them and we won't go far. Mm, no. Absolutely not. Oh, come on. Last time you went out alone, you got trapped in another world for five months. That's fair. Damn, five months? Ooh. Yeah, that's fair. I know what you're going to say. We can't take the planters out in public, but the market's always empty except for a few old people. Plus, I'll make them disguises and take full responsibility for the market, market, market. No offense, Anne, but you're the literal poster child for hating responsibility. Just look wow. at what you drew as a kid. And age six. I hate res responsibility. <laughs> Why did they frame that? It's amazing. Actually, yeah, exactly. I would frame it too. Voted frog of the year by frogs that used to hate her. True. Were there bumps in the road? Sure. sure. Did she burn the town down once? Yeah. Maybe. Did you almost get us eaten by a large creature numerous times? Also, yep. yes. <laughs> Nothing's gonna be trying to kill us for a change. Oh no. No 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 I don't listen after that trailer. You know which part I'm talking about, you know, the end. I'm not ready. Only one remains who could stand between me and my conquest. Sasha. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Sasha. I thought it was Sasha because she's still there. I didn't realize he was talking about Anne. You know what? I probably should have assumed it was Anne. Don't judge me. She must be eliminated. This is your one objective. <laughs> hey, he's gonna attack them at the marketplace. Great! Oh my god, are we gonna see her powers this episode? <gasps> Stop. And maybe some of those potato chip things she had. Even the next potato chip. Okay, forget the chips. Kill the girl. Get the book. You don't deserve a book. You don't deserve any chips. You don't deserve anything. And yes, for those wondering, 
King Andreas is definitely the Kiki in this show. For sure. So, congrats, King! You're on that list! Well, Marcy, your friends are about to be eliminated from the equation. And as for you, my dear... Oh! I gotta hear this. I gotta hear this. About to be eliminated from the equation. And as for you, my dear, your part is just beginning. Mmm, <sighs> mmm. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. We had that clip where the, the other two characters were helping her. I forget the names. One of them has that really long name. You know which ones I'm talking about. I don't I don't have the, the capabilities of coming up with their names right now because I'm just so overwhelmed. <sighs> Alright. What is stealth mode? Oh. I thought he was gonna like transform into something. Brig, I'm sure Anne knows what she's talking about here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let it out. Let it out, hop up. If you got it, you gotta flaunt it. Actually. Preach. My man. <laughs> Fundo. Oh. <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> this was a bad idea, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Probably. Oh, look at the new kicks, though! <gasps> I dig Anne's new shoes. Okay, right on. I left the shopping list at home. Abort mission! Abort mission! <laughs> no worries. I took a picture of the shopping list before we left, just in case. What a smart girl. Oh, we love Anne. We love the development. She's just like, mm. She's so smart. That was strangely responsible of you. Mm -hmm. Give me a quarter. I want to buy a lotto ticket. Oh my God. We'll do no such thing. <laughs> he <laughs> will do no such bitch. thing. Now that's more life. Is that dragon fruit? Oh my God. Or, um, no, sorry. Duh, not dragon fruit. Uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit. Oh, that's durian. It's a Thai favorite. Not really my thing since it's... Oh, it's durian fruit. I know exactly what durian fruit is. Ooh, she's gonna say because it's smelly or something. Like <laughs> rotten eggs. <laughs> durian first timer over here. <laughs> Come on, let's get you something. That's cool. I like that. I like that inclusion of the culture and stuff like that because that's true that is a huge fruit in thai and other cultures and you know it's not for everybody supposedly it's like a 50 50 thing some people find it like super delicious and some find it um uneatable like they just can't with the smell or the taste so it's actually a very interesting fruit i think it's something with like the people's enzymes or proteins or something but some people will smell it and taste it as something like sweet and stuff like that and others won't that's what i've heard um just from like cooking shows and stuff that i've used it so i don't know how much of that is true but I just think the fruit itself is interesting. I have yet to smell one, but uh, I, I kind of hope to one day. It's on my bucket list. <gasps> noodles. Yes. Can I take the planters to try out some noodles? Yes, I love noodles. Maybe Old Frog is right. She has come a long way. Now she has. She really is. <laughs> Stupid door. Uh -huh. Fuck. Uh, I love noodles. Those look so good. Give you a tray. They're not worms. They're noodles. Asian foods, heart and soul. Mm. Hey! I didn't do it as hard that time. Oh my God! Wait, these. Wow. I love the shout outs. Donald Duck, Mario, Mickey. I'm not sure who the vegetable and the alien are supposed to be, but I'm pretty sure those are probably other characters. Magnets ruin it. <gasps> they ruin the the camouflage thing. Interesting. Okay. How's that gonna come into play later? Huh? Kill the robot. Huh? Oh no. Sprig, for the last time, not everything is a. Oh! Ah, man. Oh no, you don't. Oh shit. Ah, people go crazy for those noodles. <laughs> Damn, that crazy? But we have to take this thing out before my parents notice anything's wrong. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Mom! Dad! Hi! Oh, hey, guys. Hey. How are the noodles? So good. <laughs> so good. You, like, you have no idea how good. Like, it was so good that we almost died. <laughs> Fucking love it. I love it. Can you use your blue powers? Take 
take Ooh. it out and use a UI? Ooh, that's a great question. Although she probably doesn't really know to ha how to control them yet because so far they've been triggered, it seems like under great emotion or stress or like anger, you know, stuff like that. So I don't think she knows how to really control it yet. It looks like later on from the trailer that she'll learn how, um, but for right now she probably doesn't. Power, power. I, I would if I knew how to use them. I'm not sure. See, that is exactly. I can just do whatever. You'll figure it out. So Smart. What? what about the cameras? This music makes me mad! Just come on. <laughs> Her boss! Hey, I love this song. She's jamming out to This is a fast scene. <laughs> Stop. What? Huh. That's weird. Looks like the robot doesn't want to get caught either. Mm hmm Use that. Use it. Oh shit. Okay. They're gonna freeze. It's like Jurassic Park. Shit. Ooh, that had to hurt. <laughs> really? I love the sense of humor in this show. I've said it a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred more. It is genius, I swear. There it is! There it is! There it is! The motion, baby! You think I'm just gonna sit here while you hurt my friend? The voice, man. You've got another thing coming. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, Ann! Kick his ass! Love it. I love it. Yeah, take that back to Andreas, bitch. It's my girl right there, man. It's my girl! Love it, love it. Anne? Uh oh. Anne! Anne! Come on, Anne! Come back! Is she okay? So it's like every time she uses it, it seems to take a bit out of her. So, is this a bad thing? Like, is this permanently taking something away from her energy, part of her soul, like whatever, whatever you want to call it? Is it is this stuff like permanently damaging her, or is it just an effect from using the abilities? You know what I mean? Is this something that she's gonna have to give up in order to live, or is this something she's gonna be able to keep? I don't know. Things to think about. Interesting. I hope she's okay though. I think using those powers takes a lot out of her. Mm. Well, we gotta do something. If her parents see her like this, I've got an idea. I'll be right back. Ew. Ah, no! Get it away! Papa? It works. I was sorry for being so overprotective earlier. Not only can you take care of yourself, but it looked like you can even take care of your friends. Yes, we are actually very impressed. Aw, thanks, but you don't have to apologize. You were just doing everything you could to keep me safe, and... I get it. Yeah. Yeah, well, some kid made a mess of the cooking out, and we're just lucky to have a daughter who would never do something like that. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Who knew that? <laughs> My God. <laughs> I can't. And I'm thinking I shouldn't use those powers if I can help it. Listen, don't do that. Don't do that. I, I really liked the idea of her being able to have those powers without any kind of negative impact or effect on her and her body, but that line right there just scares me because now <laughs> that means we could get a scenario in the future that she's used the powers a lot by that point, you know, she knows it's taking a lot out of her and if she uses it again it could be dangerous and you know what? She's gonna end up having to use them again! Maybe even Andreas finds that out, who knows, and uses that against her, you know what I mean? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's sus. I don't know how else to describe it, but using them feels bad. Fuck! Oh, why? This is not gonna go well. Mm -mm. You're sort of taking on a lot already. What are you talking about? Fuck. All I have to do is protect you guys and keep you a secret. Oh, and find a way to reopen a portal to Amphibia and return you home. And somehow defeat King Andreas. And make up with my two best friends. And bring them back to Earth. Yep. Hmm. That's it. Now can someone please open this door for me? I'm trying to move my arms and nothing's happening. Oh my god. As long as that robot never comes back, I think everything's gonna be fine. Why would you say that? Why? Because with this show, you know, that means that's exactly what's gonna happen. Maybe even more. Really gotta stop saying stuff like that. Yep, thank what's you. What's for dinner? You cow my... Noodles! 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 Oh my god. 
What? Oh, Kobe. I saw that. The hell is that? Upgrades and repairs in progress. Target will be destroyed at all costs. Bring it on, bitch. Get out of here. Oh, we got new end titles. This is so cute. Oh, I love this. I love the colors and the style. Oh, I love that. Baby? Not the baby! Wow! Hey! What a great first episode! That was awesome, guys! Oh, wow! And I love the end credits. That new style is so cute. I love it. And the remix of the music, fantastic. Wow! What a fantastic first episode. How are you guys feeling about it? Let me know down in the comments if you're here for the live chat. How are you feeling? Um, what were some of your favorite parts? What are you a little scared about? What are you anxious about to see in the future? I thought this was a fantastic um, first episode. Great intro to being back in Anne's world. Uh, her parents are adorable. Absolutely love them. I love the change of clothes for our poor girl. Like, yes. And it just looks like it's got such potential right now. You know, King Andreas is still up to his bullshit. So who knows where that's gonna lead. This is gonna be crazy. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. I cannot wait to continue this journey with you guys. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me out on my social media accounts for other stuff. I thank you all so much for tuning in and for joining me on this new season three amphibia journey. And I'll see you next time. Bye.